Okay, hello. So how, how, is, how is the day going for you? It's okay. Okay. <laughs> so what's your name? CJ. Oh, CJ. Cool. So what are you going to speak about? I'm going to talk about an overview of Beautify JS. Awesome. Cool. So true story, I'm actually in line to buy Burning Man tickets right now. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I'm... I <laughs> Okay, but if, if, the, if my spot comes up, I'm going to miss it because I'm committed to doing this, uh, this talk. Okay, uh, so this is an overview of Beautify.js. Uh, so my name is CJ. I am a full stack developer, an educator, and a maker based in the Denver area. Um, I've worn many hats over my career, including uh, being an instructor, a software engineer, a QA analyst, a systems administrator, and a help desk consultant. Uh, most recently, I was a lead instructor, principal, full stack developer at a place called Galvanize. Um, I taught uh, web development in the six month uh, immersive program at Galvanize. Um, but about a week ago, about a week ago, I decided to leave Galvanize. So currently, I'm seeking out my next adventure. Uh, don't know, quite know what that's going to be yet. But in the meantime, I have started a YouTube channel. Uh, so you can check out Coding Garden with CJ. I live stream every Monday at 8.20 p.m. Mountain Time, and I just uh, live code and talk about coding stuff. Uh, my most recent episode, I did uh, an overview of Beautify.js. I built a CRUD client with Beautify and actually made a theme song and started it off. Um, so check that out. Um, I am also the co-organizer of the Denver View Meetup. So any Denver people in the audience, raise a hand. Back there? Cool. There were more of you yesterday, but if you're in the Denver area, I want to see you uh, at the meetup on April 23rd. Please, please. Um, we're also looking for food sponsors, and we're always looking for full talk and lightning talk speakers. So uh, if you want to do a remote talk or something like that, reach out. That would be awesome. So um, I am going to talk about Beautify.js. Who here uses Beautify.js? Sweet. So many. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, who here has heard of it, at least? And who here has no idea what it is? OK, so I can just leave now, but I uh, <laughs> guess not. Uh, I'm going to talk about Beautify, what it is, why to use it, how to install it, and some stuff it has built in. So first, what is Beautify.js? Um, so you might be familiar with the material design uh, guidelines released by Google. And this is a specification that describes a material design. So it's not actually an implementation. It describes do's and don'ts and what your components might look like. And Beautify is an implementation of that specification. Um, so once you bring it into your app, you get access to all sorts of components that uh, exactly match up with the material design specification. So you get navigation drawers and toolbars and footers and lots and lots of other different components. Um, and your app starts to look like this once you start using it. Um, it was created by uh, John Leader. Are you in the audience, John? Raise a hand. There you are. Hey, give him a hand. <laughs> Sweet. Um, yes, so you can check him out on GitHub and Twitter and also donate to him on Patreon. Uh, he works fully open source for Beautify. Um, and so let's talk about Beautify. So it has uh, a little over 33,000 downloads on NPM in the last seven days. Um, it has close to 9,500 stars, according to this morning. Um, we can look at the star history. So it was first released in December of 2016, and it has just gradually increased in popularity since then. Um, I've been using Beautify since about April of 2017, so I've been along for the ride uh, up to the top. Um, and on February 13th, Beautify version 1.0 was released. So it's uh, fully supported in production. You should use it in your apps if you do not yet have a component library. Um, you also might be wondering why Beautify.js. So if you've been in the Vue community for a while, there are a lot of different component libraries. Um, just doing a Google search this morning, I found Element and iView and Vue Material and Muse UI and Bootstrap View and Beautify. There's tons of them. Um, I have some reasons why I chose Beautify, and here they are. Uh, first, pretty much every component you will ever need um, and every component I've ever needed is built into Beautify.js, and there are more coming. So based on some Patreon contributions, the Beautify team is working on adding more components to the library right now. Um, it has semantic naming, so pretty much every component inside of Beautify um, is uh, named what it should be and really easy to remember because it's named what it should be. Uh, the documentation is fantastic. Um, this demo is essentially going to be a demo of the docs because everything I've ever needed to know about Beautify I found in the documentation, um, and it is extremely easy to get started. So to the docs. Um, the docs are at beautify.js.com. Uh, 
Uh, I'm just running it locally because I don't want to have to depend on the internet too much. Um, but you can click on getting started and you can see all the different ways to get started. Uh, the first is by using a CDN. So you can pull in Vitify uh, from Unpackage. Can you see that? So you could pull in the uh, CSS, you could pull in Vue from Unpackage, and then also Vutify. Um, Vutify also offers up eight different CLI templates. So uh, this is the Vue 2, 2x uh, CLI. Um, and you can answer the little wizard here, and it will tell you which of the templates you might want to use. And you can also just install it into an existing application. So you just pull it down from NPM, and then uh, add it to your main JS. Um, important thing to note here is when you do Vue.use Vutify, you're getting access to all of the components defined inside of Vutify. They also offer, and it's kind of hidden here under advanced tutorials, a la carte. So if you don't want to bring in everything all at once, you actually can import only the components that you want to use, and that will actually greatly reduce your bundle size. So that's an awesome feature of Vutify. Um, you'll also need to bring in the styles, um, and it is a common misconception that you need stylus in order to use Vutify. So Vutify was written in stylus, but if you just want to use the basic uh, CSS as defined, you can use the import the built version of the CSS um, as long as you have the Webpack CSS loader. Or if you do have a stylus loader, you could import uh, the stylus styles and uh, overwrite any of the built-in variables to start to customize Vutify to your own. You'll also need to add in the uh, material icons uh, CDN so you can get access to the V icon uh, component that's built into it. Uh, the first thing I want to show in the docs is application layout. So when you're defining your app, um, there's a few different ways to do it. For the most part, every uh, Vutify app you build will need to have this vApp component at the very top. And every component will need to be a child component of the app. Uh, a basic layout usually looks like this. You might have a navigation drawer, a toolbar up at the top. Uh, v content is used uh, for their grid system, which I'll show in a second. And then also you have the V footer, which you can bring in down at the bottom. Um, there's a few uh, templates that they provide out of the box that you can get the source from. So this one has uh, just a basic left nav bar. There is also dark. This is probably one of my favorite things about Vutify, this nice dark theme. You simply just add a dark prop to the app level component, and everything turns inverted, which is pretty awesome. Um, and they also have some examples of implementing some pretty popular apps like Keep or uh, Google YouTube. So you can see how they might do that using uh, Vutify. Uh, next thing I want to show is uh, theming. So um, built in, um, you can use just pure JavaScript to change the uh, primary, secondary, accent, and error colors um, of the theme itself. Uh, you could also bring in the colors as a module and specify those just using JavaScript variables, which is pretty awesome. No need to even customize the CSS. You can bring in the, the built CSS and still have access to modify the theme. Um, I'm running short on time, so I just want to show all of the components. So there's tons and tons of stuff in here for you to use. Um, I just will highlight real quick inputs and controls. Um, so you get access to wonderful forms that have nice error validation and things like that. Uh, built in, you can specify rules, but you could also bring in an external validation library like Vulidate or vValidate. Um, and there are tons and tons of components in here, so I highly, highly recommend to check it out. Um, also on the website, you can check out the roadmap, so what's upcoming for Vue. Um, a lot of it is based on Patreon contributions that happened, and uh, new components and new features to Vutify uh, will be coming along. Uh, another thing to check out is a Vue CLI 3 plugin is being developed. So uh, if you use the Vue CLI 3, you can simply just do Vue add Vutify, and it will instantly install uh, Vutify into your app um, and uh, create a uh, base layout for you to, to get up and going with. Um, also, again, support John and Vutify on Patreon. You can check out Twitter, check out the uh, Vutify Discord, and thank you very much.